Hey everybody, welcome back. Different kind of video today. We're gonna to be taking a deep dive look at Source for Zwift. You've probably seen some of the chatter out there about this app, this plugin, this widget that's available for Zwift users. So today we're gonna to dig deep into what exactly is Source, which operating systems it works on, how do we get it onto our system, and most importantly, how can it benefit us as riders and racers on the Zwift platform. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at Source for Zwift. All right, so Source for Zwift, it's an add-on, it's a plugin, and I've left all the links down in the description below if you wanna go and take a closer look after this video. It's from the same developer, Justin Mayfield, who is a developer out there who developed Source for Strava. And for those who don't know Source for Strava, it's basically a plugin for your Strava, so you can get lots of additional, really helpful, useful insights for your all your rides, runs, etc., on that particular platform. But today, we're gonna to be focused on Source for Zwift. So let's take a look, first of all, at the pages where you can download so we can find some additional information. So Source for Zwift, it's basically a collection of add-ons and you can utilize it to overlay your Zwift racing screen. And again, you can overlay this on top of the existing screen, but most importantly, as I do, I remove the hood and replace the fields that we typically see, which are, let's face it, are a little bit clunky in Zwift itself to give you some really insightful information and information you've probably not seen before. So when you go and download Source for Zwift, just two things to consider really. First of all, if you want the full suite of gauges and add-ons there is a subscription and that's just through the patron there for source for zwift the good news is if you do that you will also access source for strava if you haven't got that already and vice versa if you've already got source for strava i guess you could probably get source for zwift also and also the other thing for you to consider is also when you download these kind of add-ons, you also get that kind of warning which says you don't know what you're downloading and be careful and so on. So take that into consideration when you do it. But I have left all the links that you'll need to get going with Source for Zwift down in the description below. So go and check that out. All right, so Justin has highlighted some of the key features in Source on this opening page. So first of all, we've got the draft percentage anywhere between zero, I've seen up to 200%, basically telling you how efficient you are in the draft any particular time. You've got group sizes, riders nearby, you've got time gaps also with groups or riders ahead or behind. You've got real life stats, so average and max power, heart rate, cadence, rolling averages as well for five second, five minute. Basically, infinite number of choices you've got here from five seconds up to two hour time gaps, looking at the averages of what the riders have put out. Peak values also included there, normalized power, TSS. We've also got the, the kilojoules value there as well, which is basically what we call the W prime or the W balance there. And we'll go into that in a little bit more detail a bit further on. Dynamic scaling as well. So all the different plugins and the widgets that you'll see on screen, you can basically infinitely change the position and the size of those widgets as well. And there's lots of different data you can add to each widget. When we get onto the screen, we'll take a look at that in a bit more detail. Um, you've got obviously gauges, you've got power gauge, draft gauge, speed gauge, the W prime gauge, heart rate gauge. You've got improved chat function there also. So again, you can see avatars, you can delve deeper into the rider straight from this add-on. So again, if I can see a rider and I can click on that rider in the chat section, and then actually I could go directly towards their Zwift power page also just using the links which are included in the add-on. You've got real-time power heart rate of each athlete as well. And again, you can mute the chat and mute certain people directly through the add-on. So let's get on course. Let's take a look at some of the functions in a little bit more detail. All right, so this is me, the Zwift Get Rolling Stages Part Perimeter, stage four. And as you can see, I've got a few overlays already set up on the screen there. So on the top left-hand corner, we've got the source metrics, which include power, both average and max power values, as well as the current power. I then added the heart rate, and again, I've got the current and the average heart rate. So, and you'll also see that I've got the draft there. So draft the current as a percentage, and that's sitting around about 80, 90. 
you'll see yo-yoing as I'm following different moves and riders. And then you've got my average percentage for the ride as well. So there's already a tar another target metric that we can utilize. All right, so let's take a look at the draft gauge in this right-hand side, this orangey gauge that you can see, which says draft on the top right-hand corner. Now this draft gauge goes from anywhere between zero and 300%. And again, it's very dependent on pack size, your positioning on the road, but also the speed of the group. If you're going uphill and the speeds are slower, you will notice that draft drop, and that makes absolute sense, and vice versa when speeds are high or you're on a descent. And again, providing your positioning is great and your power is nice and smooth also, you will notice that number increases drastically. And it is a great training tool. This will help to highlight those already existing visual markers that we get in game when your rider moves out of the group, therefore out of the draft, you will see the percentage change on this draft. And again, it is a great training tool. Utilize this when you're in pace partners or groups. It will be a fantastic tool, whether you're team time drawing on a Thursday night or you're competing in those scratch races throughout the week and weekend also. The other cool feature is the rider groups around you, which you can see this sort of transparent display that we've got next to the rider list. Here it says 13 athletes currently. You can see that I'm currently in the blue group, the leading group there at the front, and it's given the average watts per kilo and the average draft within that group. Then you can see the time gap to group two, two which has got three riders, and then a time gap also to an individual rider back there pushing out around about two watts per kilo. So again, if you had riders ahead or behind, you would get super accurate power, draft, and time distance data for those groups. This groups section is absolutely configurable. You can change these data fields as much as you want. And there's lots of choices in terms of data there. So absolutely go and check that out. Here's a really another interesting add-on that you can utilize again with Source, which is the nearby athletes. So this is me with a pace partner right here. So you can see a group of athletes names, any time gaps if they were there the current power, watts per kilo, the average power, normalized power, speed, average speed, heart rate, average heart rate, power maximum, five minute maximum. You can set these maximums and these data values. Again, there's lots and lots to choose from here. And it's customizable in terms of size as well. So I can tweak this to fit wherever I want, or maybe I'm running a second screen, or I can just overlay it with the Zwift nearby riders that you can see on the right hand screen is there. The other additional cool little function here as well is I can click on any of these riders and pull up additional information and insights into this rider. So if I'm up the road on an attack with another group of riders and I wanna see a little bit more about these riders, I can now do this via the source add-on. So let's take a look at that. So essentially I can click on any athlete in this nearby athletes field and it's gonna pull up a profile of that particular athlete. So I've clicked on my name first of all. So where we've got, we've got the team, the level, age, weight, height, FTP values, the current power, current speed, current heart rate, but also you'll notice at the top there we've got some additional fields. So you'll see the Zwift power logo. So again, I can click on that Zwift Power logo, and it will take me to the Zwift Power profile of whichever athlete I wanna know a bit more about. So again, this could be really useful. If you're up the road or I'm up the road with a couple of other riders and I wanna delve a little bit deeper into the strengths or weaknesses of a particular rider, I can do that via this add-on. I can also give them a ride on, see if I'm following this rider and so on. And again, I can just close that down, click on another rider, and get much more information to help me beat them and gain some of those elusive victories in this A category. All right, so in terms of system requirements, it's Windows PC, it's Mac OS, or you've also works on Linux. Also, it's not available if you're on iPhones or Android or Apple TV or anything like that at this point. What do I think of the app? I think it's a fantastic tool, whether you're training and racing. I love the ease of being able to get a little bit more information on the riders around me when I'm racing. And also it's a really great training tool and racing tool in terms of the draft, just to make sure that we're saving and conserving energy wherever possible, if that is our plan in the race. 
All right, so I'm gonna be doing a few more videos and a few live streams over the next couple of weeks utilizing Saws for Zwift. One of the key things we're gonna be looking at is the draft and how we can draft efficiently to conserve energy. And most importantly, how we can utilize it to get faster and more efficient in the team time trials also. So if you're not already, if you don't mind, go down, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And why not subscribe while you're there and you'll get notified of when we either go live or we post new videos. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button down below and give us a follow. It is much appreciated. We'll be back soon, some more content relating to Zwift. Of course, we've got the regular recons continue as well. Any comments, feedback, leave them in the description below. Let's have a chat. Ride on and we'll see you guys soon.